I'm Jazz from Group Technologies and we're here at the GT Training and Demonstration Facility with Bruce Johnston of JPJ Audio. Bruce is a bit of a legend in the Australian audio industry, having worked with some of the biggest bands in the world for nearly four decades. And behind me here is Nexo's latest 15-inch point source loudspeaker, the P15. We've invited Bruce here to speak about the P Plus series and his history with Nexo. Well, firstly, your career in the Australian live music scene is nothing short of stratospheric. You've mixed with plenty of artists, some of them including Oasis, Crowded House, Midnight Oil, Missy Higgins, Diesel, The Divinal, Silverchair, Wolfmother, Spiderbait, Pete Murray, Icehouse, Grinspoon, the list just keeps going on. Yep. So can you tell me, how did this all start for you? I was just playing in a band and rehearsing at a place yep. in Moorabbin. The guy was selling it and so I, I actually bought it so I could rehearse there, which was funny. And then I ended up building a studio or starting a little studio because we always liked recording our own music and stuff. And um, a band came in called Bear Garden. They came in to rehearse there. Bear Garden are from St Kilda, pretty grungy band. The years, there's a lot of history there from, you know, with the Dogs in Space movie and all that. So they came there and they were rehearsing away and I thought, wow, what, I've never heard anything like that. They came and asked me if I knew anyone that could mix their gig mm -hmm. next weekend. And I said, sure, I'll do it. Awesome. And I'd never mixed a band before. So um, luckily for me, that band the next week said, hey, we're going on tour with NXS. Playing in a band just left. I left that, I left that behind. Because suddenly from getting paid nothing, mm -hmm. I started to get paid some money. Mixing bands like The Vinyls and Boom Crash or Hoodie Gurus and stuff, it was 2,000 people in a pub kind of era. They were, they were great. They're great memories. Getting Crowded House and mixing Crowded House at that time yeah. in my life was pretty good. Pretty good to get a band like that and, uh, and leap into doing arenas from the pubs. That was, that was probably a, one of the good moments and a good band to be mixing at the time. Yeah, that's a huge step up. Yeah. And I know in the um, late 90s, actually, you were touring internationally with Oasis. Oh, yeah. And we understand that you chose Nexo for the front of house rig whenever available. And you would have had so many different PA systems available to you to choose at that time. So what was it that kept you coming back to Nexo? Because you did that for about 12 years. I, I, we must have done a festival or something with the Nexo Alpha, yep. I would say. Oasis, they, they just needed volume, like serious volume. And um, at the time, we might have been using some line array, might have just started, but it didn't, that, they weren't giving me the, um, what I needed and we mixed on an EXO Alpha system and it was just wow, right in your face with Oasis, I went wow. I remember a magazine came and asked me one day, I said why, why are you using Alpha E? Because that was a point source box and the line arrays were starting to come through. And I said to him, it never, it never says no. I, I, I said, if I want to push Liam's vocal up an inch with Oasis, I just push it up an inch and it just comes straight out at me. I go, well, oh, it never says no. So obviously they bought out the, um, the GOT and asked me to try that, the line array that came out. And we took that on plenty of big stadium tours, like big systems, big hangs of 24, 100,000 people kind of events. and. Um, that PA was, uh, was very good at the time. So it started there and that's where my relationship with Nexo started because it was the PA for me. Johnson Audio at the time when I was starting my big company, um, I had Alpha there, for, I had about 60 systems of that. And then I bought some GOT. So, um, and Group uh, Technologies are, facilitator and that as well. That, that started that long-term relationship as well. So it goes back decades. Remember with a lot of Australian bands, Silver Chair especially, we, we had PS15s on monitors <laughs> and they were a loud band. So uh, it was good. That's it, it's come a long way with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lot, lot, lot of usage with the product. So more recently, your pro audio company, JPJ Audio, became part of Claire Global Group. Yep. And so you must have a global warehouse of inventory to choose from, but you're still installing Nexo all over the place with your own install entity, Johnson Audio. So what is it that sets Nexo apart for you? It's sort of right in your face. And of course, with JPJ and stuff, we have plenty of other wedge brands and stuff like that. Um, they'd all give similar stuff and some of them are smoothed out and some of them aren't. That I found that 
the next so to be a little bit more open. So it does sound louder and uh, it's right in your face. Had a bit more bottom end too. So I thought in some of these small rooms we're doing it, it'd be good to have a pretty punchy big wedge um, that would uh, do the job. So in the, in the past, I was a big fan of um, how the mid-range and the horn sounded. I was able to get a very dominant vocal out of that box. It just comes out. A lot of other manufacturers were processing the horn and fine-tuning it to almost make it CD hi-fi quality. And, and for me personally, I was looking for a bit more edge or clarity that just, just cut through. So a bit more cut and um, in the Alpha and in the GOT for that. And the same with this, with the P15. Um, when we put that on the floor and it fires away, that horn, we just went, whoa, listen to that, that that's great. And the fact that it had a little bit more bottom end than the other wedges we tried, I thought that that was a, it's much better to start from a, a, a powerful kind of box and then maybe if, if someone wanted to remove a little bit of something they can, as opposed to trying to add something that's not there. A lot of, lot of stuff gets really processed these days and I, I like the, the concept of that that was a little bit more open the way I perceived it. Maybe more than the PS15 in the old days. Uh, years ago the PS15 was very tuned up and sounded very hi-fi and that was a particular sound to that box. A lot of people liked that because that was very popular in the clubs and that as well, but um, this one seems to be a bit more open. For me, I would say a bit more old school, so I, I really like it So from that point of view and it uh, served the purpose of giving people volume, which is what they want. Um, and it sounds like those were some of the things that you were considering. What were the other aspects you thought of when you came to the P Plus series? It had, I have tried it as, like right now we're using it as wedges, but I have used it in a few nightclubs as a PA. And the, the integration with the horn, where you can put a, like a PS horn in it and it changes the sound of it. Um, that for me gives me a bit of, um, I can use it here, I can use it there. It's, I'm really only buying one box to, to, to solve a few problems. Yeah, and you have acquired a fair few P15 boxes. So how do you plan on deploying them? Right now, um, I am in the process of uh, changing all the installs. So there's 20 Johnson installs at the moment yep. that, that are permanent rentals throughout Australia. And so we're changing them over. So to one way, it's just give a bit of an impact to make a bit of a statement too for the company to say, look, we're, we're upgrading everybody. And, uh, and that in turn will probably get people talking about it too. Yeah. And that might give me some more work. Uh, we might pick up some more work from that because we're putting in an elite box into a small uh, venue. And just a bit of consistency. You know, I always said, if I, if I go back in time, if someone said, what would you do if you started your PA company again? I would say I would just get one box and one amplifier and just have hundreds of those. So I can just interchange it very easily. It's way more cost effective to do that, so. Bruce, thank you so much for coming in today. It's been an absolute pleasure. Yeah, thank you. Very good.